Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, interesting comments there. Uh, you heard Ron Wong. He's in with us uh, via phone from the uh, Forest Wood Cup in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Good morning, Arkansas. everybody. There's that familiar. Hey, yeah. You know, Larry, before we get started with our next guest. I just got to introduce I got to introduce the other co-host. Give me a I mean, you no, I'm what is, sorry. No, go ahead. No, yeah. no, no. Good morning, Brother Bill. Bill. Bill, come back. Don't leave, Bill. <laughs> you Bill, just, come back in here. Ron's. Just, just keep rolling, man. Just okay. keep rolling. Ron, Ron Wong and Bill Cooksey, and now we can roll. All right. Walker Walker Morris is over there listening to all this, taking notes, too. So. <laughs> right. All right. Hey, listen, go to LROutdoors.com. Oh, well, he's going to say that. Uh, I would have let you talk. And and uh, check out some of the pictures from uh, – the Forest Wood Cup here on Lake Washita out of Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yes. We had some pretty rough weather here on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cleared out a little bit here and got cold, cold. on Thursday. Cool. I mean, oh, it's I cool. was like 78 degrees. Cool, cool. Not and cold. it was cool. And the uh, well, lake is low and everything. But uh, uh, go out and check out some of the pictures from the uh, Forest Wood Cup. And oh, by the way, if you don't have anything to do, it's going on today and tomorrow. Oh, it's a, yeah. Easy. The expo is free, and it is one wonderful expo, open to the family, and everything is free. And you could get over there. Oh, free! That's my, one of my favorite words. I can't think of the other one, but that's <laughs> <laughs> it ranks right up there. But uh, hey, Ron is, um, and we always like to talk to Jack Wells for our good friends down at B and N Pole Company down in uh, West Point, Mississippi. These guys have. As I talked to Jack off the air, I don't know how many uh, products they have donated to our Mid-South Junior Fishing Rodeo that we've done for over 60 years. Uh, it's amazing. I, I mean, uh, just, uh, just countless hundreds, a thousand. I know that. But uh, these guys uh, have been in us a long time, and Ron uh, hooked it up that we could talk to Jack. We're, we're just trying to hook up with Whitey Outlaw to talk a bit, little bit about it. But, uh, Ron, I appreciate you setting Jack. Good morning, Jack. Good morning. How is everyone? Oh, we love to talk fishing, right, Ron and Bill? We yes, always love to talk fishing. What's going on at B and M? Well, a little bit of everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. B and M is always doing a little bit of everything. Tell us, uh, we're into uh, late. We're getting into fall fishing and everything like that. And all those uh, crappie fishermen and things along that line. You guys have uh, hooked up and got some wonderful lightweight equipment for all of us old people. And things to <laughs> things to catch fish. So, uh, Ron, pop a pop, pop a technical question on Jack, then I'll ask him something stupid. So, well, uh, <laughs> you know, Jack, I had the opportunity to visit you guys uh, uh, at ICAS, and I was blown away by some of the new products you guys got coming out. But also, you're coming out with you guys have come out with a full line of catfish rods now and i have seen some of your guys oh yeah that are fishing the um uh bass pro shops big cat quest and they love those uh b&m catfish rods uh, how how did you guys come about coming out with that well <clears throat> you know the first thing uh, you know that we use in really in all of our product development even on the crappie side uh, you know, we, we've developed a pro staff out there, and, and, you know, these pro staffers, much like they are on the crappie side, are, 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 are good people that have good local reputations. Uh, some of them tournament fish. Some of them, you know, are, are professional guides. But we use their input um, to develop our products. Uh, you know, we feel like some, you know, a guide, for example, he might be out on the water, you know, 200 days a year. I mean, he's got a level of expertise that mm. uh, that a lot of folks just don't have. And keep in mind also that if he's a guide, he, you know, he he's fishing with people of all skill levels. He's got the, you know, the the you know the guy that wants to come in and, and learn how to catfish, and then he's got the guy that already knows, but you know, is just looking to refine a few techniques. So, I, I would tell you the number one, I guess, ingredient that we would use in any of our product development is utilizing our pro staff and the expertise they provide. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys, uh, when it comes to picking pro staff, uh, I guess you get. Uh, just don't tell them how many queries you guys get down there to be part. Of. <laughs> I, I can imagine. Well, yeah, on yeah. the on the crappie side, I would tell you that we probably get, uh, you know, 
roughly 100 applications per year. Per year. Wow. And, uh, you know, I will also tell you that in the, in the years that we've had it, uh, you know, we've had nobody resign from the pro staff. So, Nobody's resigned. So, uh, so the so the slots are, are, are very limited. Um, we're, you know, absolutely flattered um, that, that that so many people uh, would like to become a part of our family, which is how we view our pro staff. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, we we would love to have everyone, but uh, uh, no, I don't you know, think we, you could do you know, that. We've got to sell a few out there too. <laughs> yeah, you do, and I, <laughs> I, I suppose. And, and we've kind of taken that same model from the crappie side and moved it to the catfish side. Our, our, our catfish staffers now, uh, you know, look, these are family members that we're extraordinarily proud of. Um, you know, they they meet the mold of of the, they have good local reputations, and and you know, one of the biggest attributes that we look for is the ability to teach people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you no, know, absolutely. at the end of the day, you know, we want to grow the fishing market on the crappie and the catfish side. Our belief is that the best way to do that is to teach people how to fish. Yeah, communication. I mean, uh, uh, you can be the world's greatest fisherman, and we have some, and we've had some in the past. Uh, I can even see that as a change uh, by the uh, the TV that we're on now and all the different marketing things that have to do. So it's a wonderful thing uh, to be part of. And we, we've got one of your guys on the line with us right now, Whitey Outlaw. Good morning, Whitey. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, we're doing. We've got Jack Wells on the other line. We've got uh, Ron Wong on the other line. And uh, we're talking about pro staff. What's it mean to be a member of the family at, uh, at B&M, Whitey? Oh, Lord, have mercy. It means everything. I mean, you know, B&M rules the market in the pan fishing business over 70 years. And to be a part of that with Jack Wells and Buck Simmons and all. Yes. It's a, it, it's a pretty good prestige for a fisherman. It sure is. And how long have you been a member of it? Oh, Lord, I don't know. I've been with Jack since, I guess, me and Sam Heaton was the first two he ever there you started go. with. Golly, man. Yeah, it, you it, are it, old. I'll tell on, on what his comments Um you know, we, we really made the effort to formalize the pro staff somewhere around uh, 2005, 2006. Uh-huh. Uh, Whitey, of course, you know, Whitey is what I like to call one of my original guys. Okay. Um, and, I, and, I, and he is right. He, he came uh, right along at the same time that, that uh, Sam Heaton and Ronnie Capps and Steve Coleman were also part of that group. Well, that's a pretty uh, right. that's a pretty impressive uh, list to, to have on your pro staff. And why do you, uh, I know Ron has uh, had a chance to keep up with and everything. And uh, Ron, I know that uh, uh, to be a member of this thing, you you can ask Whitey one of them questions. But why do you seen technology change too, right? Yes, sir. I have seen it come. You know, from the cane pole days up to the jointed uh, cane <laughs> poles and then uh, yeah. into the glass poles and uh, grass. Hey, why? I mean. And, you know, the thing with uh, B&M is it's kept one foot ahead of the industry all these years. Yeah. It's, had, it's just it's led the market. Well, we're, talk- know, uh, let me, let me, we're talking to Jack Wells of uh, B&M uh, and also Whitey Outlaw, uh, one of the pro staff, longtime pro staff. And uh, and I know that Ron is just itching to ask you a question. I have to hold him back. You know, he just he's, he, he got an early breakfast here on this Saturday morning. So, you know, he's <laughs> well, he, I'm feeling good. This morning. He's feeling good. But go ahead, Ron. Hey, why do you know I had a chance at the uh, ICAST to see all these great products at B&M, but a couple of them that really got my interest was the Sharpshooter 6 and the Whitey Outlaw Double Duty Fishing Rod. Ooh, uh, I love those names. Yeah, yeah. What about it, Whitey? <laughs> yeah, uh, the Double Duty, it took me a little arm twisting with Jack a year or so to uh, oh, okay. get that thing going, but uh, Jack kind of... Kind of fell with me a little bit because you know I ain't gonna tell him nothing that won't sell or nothing that people don't need. Yeah, and uh, it's been a good product. We've kind of developed that thing to, to catch these big shell crackers and big brim with uh-huh. in, in the Carolinas and, and you know all over the whole country. But uh, it's got some good backbone. It's graphite, got a good foam handle on it. And, you know, it's got every trait that B and M's put in their products over the years, which is 100 percent quality and. Uh, the sharpshooter, you know, I'm not a big dock shooter, but I got some friends of mine that are, and you know, the, this new sharpshooter will fill the void for anything that's on the market. It, it should be a super product this year. And Jack, I yeah. know, yeah, I know you, you guys uh, coming out with this super. Product. Go ahead, uh, expound on that a little bit from Whitey. Well, as it relates to the sharpshooter, uh, you know, you know, dock shooting is a technique that that continues to grow each year. 
you know, in you know, for those out there that, that need a quick explanation of the technique, basically That's what I want. you yeah. open the bell on a spinning reel, you drop the line down, and you literally pull that jig or your bait presentation back, and you release it, and then it shoots straight up under that dock. <laughs> I know. The first time uh, I ever saw that, it blew my mind. You uh, know, it, so when designing the rod for that technique, and we've had a sharpshooter series in the past, uh, but as the technique has evolved, uh, you know, obviously our product needs to evolve with it. Uh, you know, the the... The sharpshooter six six foot model, uh, much stiffer than our previous models, has a touch system uh, right there on the foregrip, uh, you know, to, to to get that just little bit of extra sensitivity. Because keep in mind that bait is falling, mm -hmm. crappie feet upward. So the more sensitivity you can put on any product when you're fishing for crappie, the more fish you're going to catch with that. Yes. So uh, you know, and that being said, you know. Dock shooting is an extraordinarily popular technique this time of the year. There was, in fact, there was a four and a half pound crappie caught on Beaver Lake this past weekend under a dock. Oh my! You know, when the temperatures are getting to you know to what they typically get to this time of the year, yeah, crappie are no different from from people, I guess, in that regard. They're looking for shade. Well, let me ask you something. We got to get out of here on that, uh, as we get. Do you think there's a world record out there someplace, Jack or Whitey? Uh, Crappie wise, uh, still swimming around is going to beat that five point. What is it? Six, five point six. Five four. Five four from Fred Bright out of Enid Lake. Uh, I want to get, quickly get. Uh, we got about a minute left. Where's it going to come from, Jack? Well, that particular one came uh, from Enid. From Enid Lake. Yeah. And of course, that record has held on since I think the the mid fifties. Yes, it has. Yeah. I believe I believe that there is a crappie bigger than that out there. If I had to pick any lake in the country where I thought he might be, he yeah. or she might be living, yeah. it would probably be Grenada. Okay, Grenada. Yeah. All right, what about you, yeah. Whitey? What about you, Whitey? Uh, well, Jack knows where I feel on that. Uh, Grenada is probably the Super Super Bowl of all lakes okay. in the whole right. country. Uh, so, I would say it would fall between Grenada, and if I had to pick another, it would be Lake Washington. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Well, all right, guys, thank you now. We hope that happens on a B&M poll, right? Yes, Absolutely. Sir. It will happen. It will happen. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, Whitey Outlaw. Thank, Thank you, Jack you Wiles, for being with us yes, on sir. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, we got both of you's number. We'll know how to find you from now on, Whitey. We know where to find you now, okay? Pleasure okay, to be well, on. Thank y'all for having Thanks for having me. All right, buddies. Let's take a break. Be right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray, ESPN 790. Bill Cooksey, Ron Wong on the road. Bill Cooksey in the house. You can find out all about it all. Outdoors with Larry.